What's up guys, Ryan here. Today I wanted to make a video talking about how you can make money selling t-shirts online without even holding inventory. So I call this drop shipped print on demand. They're drop shipped because we don't have to ship them. When we get an order, we outsource the fulfillment of the order to someone else. We also aren't holding inventory. It's print on demand because the product that we sell doesn't exist until after the sale. The way it works is we list mockups of our products on e-commerce websites and when our products sell, we outsource the fulfillment, shipping, and in some cases, customer service to another company and we collect a royalty on our designs. So obviously you can see how this is a scalable, passive business model. T-shirts that I uploaded over two years ago are still making me money today. Every time I upload a new product to an e-commerce platform, unless that e-commerce platform goes belly up, I am increasing my passive income for the foreseeable future. So that's why this business model is so viable. And yes, whenever there's a business model like this, people, you know, word travels quickly and more and more people flock to the scene. But guys, have you go do a Google search on the trend of e-commerce. It's trending up. Retail trending down, e-commerce trending up. So more and more sellers are flocking to the scene, but more and more customers are getting on board with the idea of buying things online. So this is absolutely still viable in 2019. And my income reports are proof. If you need proof, I mean, I'll gladly talk to you about my numbers on Amazon, Amazon Merch, and Etsy. So the reason we need a production partner is they own highly specialized machinery, like you see in this picture, that cost anywhere from what I've heard is $250,000 to like $500,000. And Amazon's Merch program, where you can upload print-on-demand prime-eligible t-shirts, Amazon has warehousing around the world, not just the United States anymore, but around the world, and they have these extremely expensive direct to garment printing machines that require three people to operate at a time. And they have three shifts of people working 24 hours a day around the clock to fulfill their t-shirt orders. There is a little bit of a barrier of entry to get into the print on demand business as a production partner. That's why if you're a one man show like I am, you just choose one or two or even three to outsource to. And when you get sales, just allow them to fulfill the work, ship it to your customer, you collect your royalty and sit back. Amazon Merch is my favorite introductory vehicle to print on demand. In fact, I just got off a one-on-one -on -one call where I was helping get somebody started with their print on demand business. And I said, if you're setting priority for how you wanna approach this, you should apply for your Amazon Merch account right away because it's free, you never have to pay for anything any sales you get, you collect a royalty, so it's pure 100% profit. You don't have to give a credit card, nothing. So Amazon Merch is a great place to start, and when you get started, you can only upload one product a day to Amazon's marketplace, and the more you sell, the more products you can list, both daily and they set a maximum on your account. So when you start, you can only upload 10 t-shirts maximum until you get 10 sales. Sometimes it's like eight sales, and they'll bump you up then they lift your limit to 25 maximum products and two t-shirts a day, and they keep tiering you up based on how many you sell. So I'm currently in the 8,000 tier. I've sold over 9,000 products on Amazon Merch, and I've made over $41,000 of profit just sitting in my bank account that I wouldn't have had otherwise. The biggest advantage of listing print-on-demand products through Amazon Merch is that they are Prime eligible. Because this is an Amazon program, they'll slap the little Prime checkbox next to Amazon Merch products, which helps entice buyers because if you've heard somewhere around 60 percent of all u.s households have amazon prime accounts they're way more likely to buy from you than buy from somebody whose t-shirt is fulfilled by merchant it might even be a little bit cheaper but they don't have the prime shipping amazon merch is a great introduction to print on demand because their wizard for creating products is very direct and very strict once you're used to following the guidelines for uploading to t-shirts long sleeve shirts sweatshirts hoodies and pop sockets when you're used to that it'll make other print-on-demand platforms feel like a breeze because honestly, they're all pretty easy to use and merch is the strictest, but in getting used to merch and how to upload designs that are optimized at specific dimensions, add in brand, title, bullets, and descriptions to optimize them for search results, you'll be ready to upload to other print-on-demand platforms and e-commerce marketplaces. So the order that you're seeing me talk about these print-on-demand production partners is actually the order that I was personally exposed to them in. I started off with Amazon Merch and I had a big directory of designs that I had been listing on Amazon Merch products. Eventually, I found out about Gearbubble, which is a company that does similar to what Amazon Merch does in that 
you can upload designs to their products and list them for sale on e-commerce marketplaces. Following a sale, they will create the product and ship it to your customer. Unfortunately, Gearbubble products are not Prime eligible. Only Amazon Merch gets the little Prime badge. But Gearbubble products are still extremely popular on e-commerce marketplaces, namely Amazon and Etsy. I know people are making a killing selling primarily coffee mugs. That is their best seller. They can sell color-changing mugs, metallic mugs. Uh, my personal favorites are the 11-ounce and 15-ounce white and black mugs. Typically, if I render a design, I will render a white version and a black version. The white version looks great contrasted against the black mug, and the black version looks great contrasted against the white mug. And when you do that, you double your coverage. It's definitely better to upload two variants of a product as two different ASINs on Amazon than it is to upload one with four children, in my opinion, because you want to occupy more space in search results to increase the likelihood of getting your listing seen and clicked by customers. So Gearbubble is great because it's easy to use. Their wizard for creating products is flexible. In comparison to some other competition though, their offerings for products to do print on demand with is a little bit limited. It's a little bit small. I know their best sellers are mugs and jewelry. So they also do bracelets and necklaces. I have not sold many, but I know that there are people making a killing doing that as well. T-shirts, they also do T-shirts, but everybody does T-shirts. So that's not even really worth mentioning. When people think of Gearbubble, I think they think of mugs first. Their, their reputation is that they're a leader amongst print-on-demand mug sellers when it comes to production partners and platforms. One downside of Gearbubble is that there is a monthly fee associated with using each of their integrations. I don't know what the monthly fees are off the top of my head because I bought my way into one of the Gearbubble founders courses and negotiated this was not something they advertised but i negotiated that if i bought my way into their course they would give me free lifetime integrations they said yes i paid for the course and i've had lifetime integrations since it's been a great deal for me but guys i would rather you not sign up for a monthly fee if you it can be avoided so Let's talk about Printful. So Printful is my print-on-demand production partner of choice. Now I said, if you're just getting started, start off with Amazon Merch. I really think that it is, it takes a lot of the decision-making out of your hands because they're not flexible. They pretty much guide you and tell you exactly what you have to do. So Amazon Merch is where you should start. Second though, come over to Printful. Before you sign up for monthly fees with Gearbubble, jump on over, check out Printful, use my referral link. If you get any value out of these videos, you can help me in return by just using my referral link. It would be much appreciated. Anyways, Printful. I love Printful. I'm not saying that because I'm an affiliate. I'm saying that because I just love it. My main reason for saying that is that their UI, their user interface on their website is so intuitive, so easy to use. If you use Gearbubble, it used to be that you couldn't even cancel an order without going through their support and emailing them. And you know they have multiple support inboxes and it's just a pain. Printful, you go right into the dashboard, click the order, cancel, or click the order, change the address. They make it seamless, easy. It'll save you so much time that most people probably overlook. The fact that they turn over controls to us to do things like change customer info, change address, cancel orders, change designs. So if you guys are selling on Etsy, Etsy in November of 2018 released a personalization field on product listings that you can enable as a seller to offer personalized designs in a streamlined manner. So there were always people offering personalized designs, but it used to take a lot more time to fulfill. Well, Etsy started offering that personalization field, making it much easier on sellers. And then Printful, a couple months later, integrated personalizations into their dashboard for their Etsy sellers. So it made it super simple and easy for you to fulfill those personalized orders right from within the Printful dashboard. That sort of attention to detail is common at Printful. They're always in their Facebook group, they're always interacting with the community, getting feedback about what sort of features they want to see built in or what new products we want. It's just a great platform. It's so easy to work with. They have fulfillment centers in the United States, in Europe, and in Mexico. It makes it easy to do international shipping. They have a very wide assortment of products made available. And don't get it confused when you think of Printify having a larger catalog. There's another very similar named company called Printify that is a print-on-demand production partner. But Printify, they basically are a middleman. They outsource the work to other factories. Whereas Printful has their own factories, their own machinery, their own employees, their own warehouses. And they do everything under one roof. 
So don't confuse them for Printify where Printify a lot of times is outsourcing work and it turns into a bit of a bureaucracy where imagine if you need to update a shipping address, which is not uncommon. If you have to deal with emailing a support mailbox who then has to figure out who they outsourced the production to and email that support inbox and hope that the address gets changed in time, etc. You don't want to deal with that. So guys, once you have your Amazon merch account going and you're comfortable doing print on demand, come sign up for Printful or apply for your merch account. And then while you're waiting for it to get approved, sign up for Printful using my affiliate link and start practicing designing things. You don't even need to be in Photoshop to design in Printful. They have a wizard that you can use to create products. It's so easy. They have clip art. They have a text tool with lots of different fonts. Very intuitive. They also sell mugs. So if you want to start listing products on Amazon right now, you can go use Amazon Merch, upload your t-shirt designs there because they're going to be prime eligible. But Amazon Merch doesn't offer coffee mugs, for instance. So then log into Printful, integrate it with your Amazon seller account, which by the way, if you don't have an Amazon Merch account, you probably don't have an Amazon seller account. That's going to run you $40 a month. But you can do so much with an Amazon seller account. It's the number one e-commerce marketplace in the world. The sooner you start that, the better. Then you can go look at my blog. There's an article for how to get a GTIN exemption. With your GTIN exemption, you are allowed to upload and create as many product listings a day as you want. I mean, there is a limit where you'll get throttled if you spam it, but you can basically be creating 100 new print-on-demand products a day through your Amazon account that will be available for sale on the world's largest marketplace forever. If you get a sale, Printful just downloads it and creates the, the product and fulfills it and ships it to your customer. And you keep the profit that's left over after you pay Printful and Amazon the order fees. How awesome is that? So that's what this game is all about. That's what selling products online without holding inventory is all about. And what I'm trying to sell here under the name Ryan's Method is the complementary three-prong approach of selling private label products through an Amazon seller account via Amazon FBA, but then also using your Amazon seller account to sell print on demand FBM fulfilled by merchant products through Gearbubble or Printful. Printful obviously is what I'd recommend. And then also, since you're already designing print on demand products, sell them as well through Amazon Merch. All of a sudden, you've got a three pronged attack, all passive income, and it's completely complimentary. You're selling well on FBA, you're getting great seller feedback, and Amazon trusts you. That's also helping your print on demand products that you're selling through Seller Central. And like I said, you're already doing graphic design, so upload them to as many products as possible. Leverage Amazon Merch's prime eligible products. This is like a big picture thing that is all complimentary and it's gonna help you make money in the long run. And if you guys doubt that this works, please go to ryanhoag.com slash income dash reports. I publish monthly income reports. I'm making five figures passive side profit, profit by the way, not revenue, profit a month doing this while I work a nine to five and teach college. So guys, if I can do it, you can do it. And I'm here to help. Please check me out in the Facebook group. If you have any questions, I'm working on finishing up my Amazon FBA course. Then I'm going to finish the merch course. Then I'm going to finish the drop ship print on demand printful Etsy course. I'm working seven days a week, working weeknights, weekends. Thank you for checking out this video though. I appreciate you. Please hit that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment if you have any feedback or questions and I'll see you at the next one.